Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will be covering three topics. First, what is the object spa? Second, how to open the object spa? And third, how to use the object spa? Now, the first topic in what is the object spa? The object spa is a tool that allows you to learn about the objects in an application by seeing an object's property values and the operations that can be performed against it. Now the second topic of how to open the object spa. So from this I'll go ahead and flip back over to QTP. From the main QTP coding window, there are two ways you can open the object spa. The first is by using the button bar. And as you can see up near the top of the window, uh, the object spa button uh, looks like a man with a blue hat. That's the button that you can click uh, there on the button bar. The other location where you can find the object spa button is on the menu bar. You can click the tools button. Then you can click the object spa button. Now this moves us to our third topic, which is how to use the object spa. With using the object spa from the main QTP coding window, there are five common things that can be done with it. The first is we can review an object's hierarchy. The second is we can review an object's property values. The third is we can view the operations that can be performed on the object. The fourth is we can add the object to the object repository. And the fifth is we can copy the property values to the clipboard. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of that now. Now for this exercise I'll be using the sample flight application that comes with QTP. Now the first example of what you can do with the object spa was to review the object hierarchy. So to review an object's hierarchy, you need to locate what looks to be a finger pointing button up near the top left corner of the window. Click that. And once you click that, it will minimize the QTP window and you'll be left with the object spa window and you'll likely be seeing the application window that you're testing against. Now as you can see, as you move your mouse across the application, watch in the top pane of the object spot under the object hierarchy title as I move from object to object. You'll see how now the first object in the hierarchy is window, and then the next object down is win combo box. However, look if I move the mouse over to the flights button, now you'll see the parent object is window, and the child object is win button. Quite like if I move the mouse cursor over to the data flight input, you'll now see that the parent object is window, and the child object is win object. Now, once you're ready to actually look at the specifics on a particular object, hover your mouse over that object where you'll see the black rectangle over it, then click on it. That will now lock those object's property values into the object spa, and it will now bring back up the QTP window. Now that you've done that, you can actually review the object's property values. That brings us to the second thing that the object spy can do, which is to review those property values. For example, uh, you can see uh, the enabled property here in the fly from drop down box is true, the focus property is false, and there are several other property values that you can review. Uh, and for every object that you click on, there will likely be many different property values that you can see. Now, the third thing that you can do with the object spot is to look at the operations that can be performed on the object. Now, to locate these, in the middle of the window, you'll see an operations tab. Click that. And here under the operations column header, you'll see all of the operations that can be performed against that particular object, whichever object it was that you had clicked on. Now, the fourth thing that can be done with the object spot is you can actually add an object to the object repository. Now to do this, uh, look back up near the top of the window and it will be the third button over. It will look like a square with a green plus sign over top of it. If you click this button, it will actually add that object to the object repository. And I'll show you where we can validate that momentarily after we finish uh, this section of the tutorial. The next thing that you can do with the object spa 
is to copy the property values to the clipboard. To do this, you want to click the fourth button over, which looks like two pieces of paper. So go ahead and click that. Now once you do this, it is going to copy all of the property values that are shown here in the bottom part of the window to the clipboard where you can paste them into a text file. To, so to show you this, I'll paste the values into a notepad file and you can see those here. For example, the first property is class name and its value is win combo box. As we can see here in the text that was pasted in, the first property name is class name and the first value is win combo box. So that shows that it was able to successfully copy over all of the property values. Now, you can also click to close the objects by by either clicking the close button in the bottom of the window or by clicking the X button in the top right corner of the window. You can also access some context sensitive help by clicking the help button in the bottom right corner of the window. Now, I'll click to close the objects by so that I can show you how those objects were added or how this object was added to the object repository. To pull up the object repository, you can click the object repository button on the button bar. It looks like a cylinder with brown, green, and then red on it. So you can click that button. I can now see the fly from object here in the object repository that I had just added from the objects by. Now, I've shown you the five things that you can do with the objects by from the QTP main coding window, which were to view the objects hierarchy, to view the objects property values, to view the operations that could be performed on the object, to add the object to the object, object repository, as well as to copy the property values to the clipboard. So now, this concludes our vid video tutorial on the object spa, where I've answered the three following questions. First, what is the object spa? Second, how to open the object spa? And third, how to use the object spa? As a reminder, please subscribe to my video channel to stay up to date with the latest videos that I produce. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.